I'm coming to you the morning after Christmas. I just woke up. Christmas was yesterday. I got this poncho. Oh my gosh, is this like the most incredible thing ever? Look at it. I can sit here all day and just... This, if I'm cold, I snuggle up, but it's so soft. It's so soft. But I'm coming to you from my bed. Because I wanted to do like a mental health check-in. See where I'm at. Lots of, lots of love from my video about dropping out of college. I know when I was dropping out of college, I felt scared because I didn't hear about people and how they lived their lives after they dropped out of college. Like, I didn't know what dropping out of college would mean for me. So maybe I could be that for somebody else. I don't know. <laughs> I moved out of my apartment, the one I was living in before. That I was making other videos about. I moved out of that because I couldn't find a second job. And the first job that I did get, we ran into some issues. Because they were not very nice. And so I didn't have enough money to make rent. And so I had to move back home, which is why I'm at home. And now I have two jobs. Because this town where I'm from, much more walkable. Much more walkable than my college town which I need because I don't have a car. And so I have two jobs. I work in the same kind of place and I work at a fun place, a place that like, just a chill place, a fun place, a place I like working. Having the balance of both I think is good, except I gotta wake up really fucking early and walk in this cold and that, that kind of really sucks, but it's fine. I don't mind it. I like, I'd rather do that so much more than go to class, even though it was the same thing. I just, I was not able to get myself up to go to class because there wasn't like, I don't know, dopamine. There was other people counting on me, but not really. It was kind of just me counting on me and that not good. Here, there's other people counting on me, so I got to get up. I got to do it. I got to get out there. It's seven fucking clock in the morning in two degree weather this thing is gonna be coming so freaking handy this and i'm living here with gatsby he's sitting on the end of my bed this is my baby this is my man hi he's such a big help such a big help can't explain how much of a help gatsby is after i've done so much like trying to go to therapy, taking different meds. The only thing that I felt a difference with is getting an emotional support animal. And I'm so thankful for him. Like genuinely, on these days that I just sit here by myself, he's the only interaction that I have with another being. And I just love him so much. And I could just like show him as much love as I want to. Like, I don't have like a lovey-dovey physical touch family. I didn't grow up in that type of household, okay? I have brothers and divorced parents. <laughs> and so we weren't, we've never like hugged each other and grew up that way. Like it took me until college to like actually hug someone because I was just, I don't want any part of it. But Gatsby, I'm like, healing those parts of me because I'm like hi buddy and I just want to cuddle him and give him kisses all the time and I just love him so much and I've never in my entire life been that way about anything I'm not like that I'm like get the fuck off of me type of person but like Gatsby I just went like, ah. I love him and so that I think helps heal parts as well as like I'm never alone I know I'm not going to do anything stupid in a depressive episode because I have a son relying on me. And I also have him registered, so it's like a relief on my shoulders that like he can travel with me all the time. And he's been traveling with me to all kinds of places. We I've lived so many different places and everything since I got him. Since he's a little baby, so he's used to just like traveling. It's also really nice being his favorite person because everyone else, he's just like, I don't really care what you have to say. I don't care if you want my attention. I do not care about your existence. Me, I breathe. And he's like, yeah, mom, let's go. Where are we going? Let's go. He sits on the foot of the bed and I sit up here. And sometimes we switch. Before I get started, I'm going to make some tea. Portable kettle so I can make tea in my bed without having to leave my bed, which is really, really important to me. Welcome to a commercial break where we're going to learn how to make tea in bed. I have this gallon water jug. 
that I keep in my room. And I use it kind of like a water supply. It has the motivational stuff on it. This is the exact water bottle that Harry Styles used one time in paparazzi photos. And I was like, you know what? Harry Styles is so healthy and fit and cares so much about his body. And I don't. So maybe I should get this water bottle so I can think of we're falling, we're falling, we're falling. So I can think of Harry Styles all the time. And I pour it in my water cup here. And then I, I grab the plug-in. And I press the on button and open this. And this shit's gonna boil. Mental health check-ins. Mental health check-ins are really... I don't want it in my ear anymore. Mental health check-ins are really good for someone. I do mental health check-ins constantly. But I'm also, I have two water signs in my big three. So, a lot of that's by nature. I'm going to have the best year of my life. That is my goal. The next year. Listen to this. Listen to this. I turned 23 on 2, 23, 2023. My lucky number is 23. And, listen to this. The 1975, my favorite band of all time, came out with a song on their new album called Wintering. And the whole entire song is about, I'll be home on the 23rd. Are you kidding me? So I am forcing myself to have the absolute year of my life. I don't know how that's going to happen because I am at a strange transition period in my life but I'll make it happen. It'd be fine if I have like a quiet birthday because then I could use my birthday for some like self-reflection and self-healing and self on self-love. Does that make sense? Loving myself and I love loving myself. I think everybody needs to love loving themselves a lot more. Not to the harmful narcissistic level but just like be your own best friend. You're stuck with yourself all the time at all hours of the day be your own best friend so where am i at in life i have two jobs and i'm working and it's okay i have a lot of goals for this next year and i am stubborn as hell so i will make 2023 the best year of my life even if i am just really having the biggest fucking battle after battle mental health wise i will i'm stubborn enough that I will be like, I have to. I have to. I've been waiting for this year my entire life. I've never imagined the future past this year. Which, if I die this year, that would be a real fucking crazy foreshadowing. But I'm not planning on it. But, along with that, I've also been having rough days. Which is okay to talk about. I think one should absolutely talk about they're bad as much as they're good balance equal you know leveling it out because i don't not i don't understand societal norms where it's like everything has to be happy i'm like that's not real okay that's not fucking real there have been really bad days since i've moved home and i knew that was going to happen because i was like the second that i leave Kutztown, i'm going to be leaving my friends and i'm going to be leaving my first apartment and that sucks that sucks. It's just kind of like ripping off a band-aid and starting fresh. My life up there didn't start getting better than pretty rough until right before I was about to leave, which really kind of sucks, but it's something I really needed to do. I've been watching a lot of normal people. If you have not seen normal people, go see normal people. Okay, I got a second normal people book and the rest is Sally Rooney's writings for Christmas this year yesterday <laughs> is genuinely one of my all-time favorite books and they made it into a hulu show and the hulu show is one of the best adaptations of a book i've ever seen and it is so good and i've been watching normal people and i've been reading normal people and i feel like connell so often and i've been seeing glimpses of pieces of my life in this show and shout out to Sally Rooney, okay, for just, thank you. <laughs> Is it doing anything? It's not even getting hot. It wasn't on. There have been rough days. And just laying and being up here in my little bed. 
my laptops, and now my tea. Big handful of those. Some of them really suck, too. Like, some of them just really suck. And, like, the one that I had before my last period, that one really sucked because periods can set off manic and depressive episodes in someone that suffers from bipolar, aka me. And it does all the fucking time. All the time. It's so annoying. And this depressive one, some of the worst ones that I've ever had. Probably top five, maybe, like, top ten worst ones. And then... I woke up in the morning, I got my period, and I felt like a whole new fucking person. It's like the universe is playing tricks on me. It sucks. I need to talk about it more. I think it's so important to just, when you're going through hard times, like I acknowledge that I'm going through some tough points in my entire life. I have like two friends, one that I hang out with on an everyday and we're both working all the time so I barely really see anyone except for like my family and Gatsby. I do take a lot of walks but it's cold and it gets dark early and that really sucks but I do love walking to work because I just that's my walk. I love walking. I have an emotional attachment to walking. I have a couple videos where I just go out and I'm just like I'm gonna film one of my walks because I take so many walks. I take Walking in a place you live is so important to, like, find little nooks and crannies of the environment around you. I think it's so important to sit and take care of your mental health and just focus on that in rough times in your life. There's a lot changing for me. There's a lot of me figuring out who I am and what I want to do and who I want to be in this world right now. Do you hear... She's boiling, bro. Can you calm down? And so I've been focusing on my mental health and my psyche, doing meditations and stuff, but I've been really kind of lacking on it because I've been fighting these guys just like choop, 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 depression, choop, 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 choop. I've been fighting these motherfuckers in here, and so I need to focus on it more, but I know I do need to focus on it. I've We'll just do it not as often as I'd like. Keep my head treading water. I actually wrote a poem. It was my Instagram caption. I love putting poetry as my Instagram caption. As a poem, poet, I freaking eat it up. I'm like, here's a poem. Harry Styles, my treat people with kindness notebook that I uh, got from your concert, your very first tour, is almost out of pages. So I would really appreciate it if you made a new notebook. You make so much stuff. Make a notebook. Put it, even if it's a pleasing notebook, dude. A notebook? You? Why the hell aren't you selling notebooks? Used to write all the time. I've been coming to a lot of metaphors about peanuts lately and just staring at a field for hours. I've been treading water. A comfortable tread. Second nature, due to the Irish in me. That's where I've been at. And that's okay. It just takes time, and it takes patience, and it just takes day to day, just like, okay, today, what are we going to do today? What do I need today? What does my body feel today? Right now, we're just taking it moment by moment, not even day to day, because the beginning of my day could be so different than the end of my day, and I wouldn't have known how the end of the day was going to be at the beginning of the day. I'm not a fortune teller. Final step in the making bed tea pour the water into the cup try not to spill it on yourself because it's hot as hell ow hi gatsby you need to move out of my way man i got a situation i'm handling you'll hurt a bit life's not perfect and i'm an absolute idiot so some of the things that i've been doing to keep my head level i've been going on walks like i said i've been drinking teas teas are good for your soul and your heart and i'm not a coffee drinker they give me panic attacks i've been writing i've been writing a lot i've been writing a lot an actual like book um not something i don't think i'll ever get into this world but definitely something that i can maybe used to learn and strain off of for ideas that can further be developed. I've been reading a lot and I have this book that my brother got me for Christmas called Atomic Habits by James Clear. 
even though when I'm reading it, there's a woman's voice in my brain. He said it helped him develop little habits because he also struggled bad with ADHD. And ADHD is a habit thing. People with ADHD have a really hard time acquiring habits and making habits. He said it helped him a lot. And after I'm done reading it, I'm also going to give it to my little brother. He wants to read it as well. I keep forgetting that I have a microphone. I'm trying to think of what else I've been doing, but I can't. But I've been trying to do things for my brain this point in my life there's so many times when i just i'm like i have no idea what the hell i'm doing i have not a clue i'm just doing this doing this close my eyes holding my ears and hoping for the best I'm figuring it out i'm just figuring it out i think my goal for the 2023 year even though i already know it's going to be the best year of my life because i'm stubborn as hell and i want it to be the best year of my life it's to just plainly focus on achieving because i've just been kind of coasting on the down low through life just like uh, i haven't really cared to recognize myself or anything like i w just want to start pushing forth on my dreams i don't really know how much else i have to say Just take it day by day. That's what I've been doing. Compared to being in college, I'll take this any day over that. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful holiday. And I hope the next year brings you so much love and positivity and finding in yourself and, and change for the good and incredible opportunities and money because we're all fucking broke and i'm just putting money in the world for myself putting money in the world for everyone else because we're all broke as hell except for the billionaires you guys i hoping for a decline on that bank account of yours i am part of that will be pushing forth making videos more often and i say that all the time but this is something that i enjoy and it's something that i enjoy that i sacrifice a lot to just push through life like, I just, I'm like, no, I'm not going to make a video. Or I don't even think of it because I'm focused on other things. And I'm like, oh my god, I could be making a video. Or that making video takes a lot of time and I don't know. Like, I'm bad at telling the future, okay? But that is a goal of mine. I'm trying to get better on it. And so I'm trying to acquire these habits and learn to get better on it. And I'm taking you on that journey. We're going to grow together. Anyways, happy Christmas. Too full of kindness. Always be conscious of your environmental footprint and drink more tea. Drink more tea and see if it's cool enough. Yeah, it's a bit hot still, but bye.